You do. So you were getting crafty again. Right, What's know, new this past weekend? You know how I like to do crafts, and you know how I like to take on craft projects that I'm not sure if they're going to work, something right. new. I like to kind of stretch it a little bit. So I have a basement that I've been kind of remodeling mm -hmm. myself, but I'm not investing any money right. in it. I'm basically just changing what I have. And this is sort of where furniture has gone to die in my house and for my for my in-laws right. too. But furniture's so, expensive. So furniture's expensive. It's so hard to just get rid of it. And so it's not our main living room. Our main living room is what I've really spent time kind of decorating and getting nicer things. And our basement, some of the furniture is stuff that we've just been handed down like my in-laws didn't want this chair anymore and it's a nice chair but it's not exactly my style it wasn't theirs either that's why they got rid of it right mm -hmm. but i thought if i changed it a little it would be and it's leather okay did you think you could paint leather no because i would guess that it's going to crack especially on something that you're sitting i tried it i have a picture i just did the stool to try stool on the left there is the original one and on the right the lighter tan is the one i painted I wouldn't know which one was the before or after if you didn't tell me because they both look like they're real right. leather and they're supposed to be that way. And it feels like leather too. It hmm. feels like leather too. So you actually can buy leather paint. It's made for painting on leather. It has like a very flexible properties so that it continues to be able to move and sit on and yeah. you could paint a leather jacket. A lot of people use it to paint purses if they want to like revitalize their purse. Or change the color. Change yeah. the color, yeah. So wow. I, and the key is to do it in really thin layers. It's kind of cool. It's totally revolutionizing I actually don't have leather, leather furniture so I wouldn't be able to do that but well, I'm I gonna, leather clothing. I'm going to keep going. I did post that to my Facebook page, my Kello Land Living Ashley Facebook page, and uh, I had quite a few comments about like, how did you do that? Yeah. So I have the matching chair to that stool, and I'm going to tackle the chair, and I'm going to post like some of the step-by-step -step photos to my Facebook so people can see like, did it work or how did I do it? So if you have some leather you want to paint or update, you know, check that out as I go and try it, and then I'll let you know how it wears too. I love that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, real quick, we probably won't get through the whole video that we have, but we didn't get to it yesterday and we wanted to. Mm -hmm. So Kevin Kiergaard is the chief photographer here at Kello, and his video that he took at Lake Ponset, where yeah. you have a cabin. My place, yeah. Was featured on CBS Sunday morning. Which is so cool. I mean, I watch CBS That's Sunday huge. morning all the time. But for all of you that know Kevin, yeah. his work is so great. So this honestly is not surprising to no. me because he just... He has such a talent that and an eye for things. Now you can see why I, why we choose to lake there, right? Right. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot, and he did it so well capturing it. Sometimes it's hard to it is, capture yeah. pictures or video at a place that's so beautiful because it just doesn't Everything give it is, justice. Yeah. But and I was I actually know, up there great. when he was doing that because I was yeah. like, are you, "Are you at the cabin?" And I'm yeah. taking some pretty cool photos. Yeah, I love so. that. It was good.